They can willingly sacrifice their precious sleep, talking to their girlfriends and boyfriends, quarreling through the phone, going out on a date with their girlfriends and boyfriends, and some of the youths still chooses to play games throughout the night and not for any useful purposes. Then we see a completely different scenario where besides the college students misusing their time in those manners, we can also see some unemployed youth busy preparing for their desired examinations and not knowing the outside world, completely dissociating themselves from the social life and allowing to remain undisturbed. Church services or being in contact with friends and families. Then comes the weekends where we don't see much of a different schedule for the unemployed youth while for the other young people they have replaced their church time, fellowships, family time, meeting friends, making plans to go on a picnic, having fun, partying the entire weekend, some sleeping and being on their phone the entire days, and few youth attempt to worship the Lord. In conclusion, every human who lives in this world has the same time, 24 hours a day, Seven days a week, 30 days a month, 365 days per year. But most of us do not know how to manage time and manage it to be something useful, effective, and efficient. That is because we do not have the discipline in filling time as we allow our days to be filled with things that damage our lives. Wasting time is a sin because it is a waste of the opportunities God gives. So, based on the different backgrounds of our today's year that we have depicted through our head, we hope that the church has witnessed and reflected for the better, and we pray that it has empowered each one of us to be observant and careful in using our own time, as well as craving as many opportunities God gives, and above all, putting God first because He is the center of time management. And now, we would like to end with some verses from Ephesians that says, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And from Ecclesiastes, which says, Young people, enjoy your youth, be happy while you are still young. Do what you want to do and follow your heart's desire. But remember that God is going to judge you for whatever you do. Thank you.